In this lecture, we are going to discuss the apply function. The typical use case for the apply function would be similar to the scenario where we want to do some operation on each element of a list. For example, if we wanted to square each item. Of course, in Python, we know that for loops are slow, so we would like to avoid them if possible. The apply function can be used if you want to do the same operation on each row of a data frame or each column of a data frame. In other words, it does what you want to do with a for loop without having to actually write a for loop. So let's do an example. Suppose I want to have a column called year, where I take the existing date column, parse out the year, and convert it to an integer. So let's start by writing a function that accepts as input a single row of a data frame. So that would be def date to year, and it takes in a row. So we're going to return int of row, square bracket, date, and then we'll split that string with a dash, and then we'll grab the zeroth element. Now, if you can't see how this works right away, I would suggest trying this on a dummy date string. Recall that the format is year-month-day. Next, we're going to apply this function to every row of our data frame. So we do df.apply date to year. So the first argument is a function axis equals one. The axis equals one is necessary. Otherwise, this will operate column wise instead of row wise. So let's run this. And as you can see, we get out a series containing only the year of D type in 64. Note that we can also assign this series to a new column. So we can do df year equals what we have above. All right, now let's check what this did to our data frame. As you can see, there is a new column called year.